Cobra Kai Season 6 has the chance of doing something like one of the original Karate Kid movies starring Ralph Macchio as Daniel LaRusso managed to do. After months of waiting, Netflix has confirmed Cobra Kai Season SIXS release date. The show's final season will have 15 episodes opposite to the usual 10 and will be released as a three-part event. Between the higher number of episodes and the different release models, the anticipation for Cobra Kai Season 6 could not be higher. Apart from the Sekai Taikai, not much has been revealed about season SIXS story so far. Following five great seasons, Cobra Kai now has the difficult mission of sticking the landing. Even the greatest shows can have disappointing or underwhelming finales, which is why Cobra Kai's final season needs to be more than just the Sekai Taikai tournament. Even though most things in Cobra Kai are solved with fights, some of the show's greatest moments didn't happen on the mat. This is actually one of the flaws with the original Karate Kid movies, particularly regarding their endings. None of Daniel LaRusso's Karate Kid movies had a satisfying ending. The original Karate Kid movies all ended abruptly. The Karate Kid, The Karate Kid Part 2, and The Karate Kid Part 3 all end the same way. Daniel LaRusso wins the final fight against his main adversary either in a tournament like the first and third films or in a real-life fight like in Part 2. While all three Daniel LaRusso-led Karate Kid films end on a happy note, none of them has a truly satisfying ending. Daniel winning the fights is important, but the endings do not offer anything else beyond that. As soon as the fights end, the film freezes the frame and cuts to black. The first three Karate Kid movies all end with a sense that something is missing, almost as if the story was abruptly interrupted. For example, in The Karate Kid, audiences do not get to see much of Johnny Lawrence after the fight ends. The relationship between Daniel and Ollie also does not play too big of a role at the end of the movie, which is even worse when considering that Ollie would be written out of the story in Part 2. Funnily enough, the beginning of Karate Kid 2 feels more like an ending to the Karate Kid.